Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 24 Sell to Figo career mode. First of all, I just want to take a couple minutes to thank all of you guys because as you might know, yesterday, um, April 8th, I've hit my 1,000 subscribers. So I just want to take a few moments to, to thank you guys because I started this channel a long time ago, back in maybe 2016, 2017. I was still in high school. Uh, I think I was in the last two years of my high school or secondary school, wherever you guys are coming from. And uh, again, the, the whole journey just pretty much started from just a teenage boy, you know, seeing other people doing the career mode. And, you know, I thought I also want to showcase my career mode as well. I'm not the best FIFA player. I'm not the best EA Sports player, but I just love to show you guys, you know, what I can do with the series. You know, being a little bit more adventurous here and there. And yeah, it's funny because the reason why I started the whole channel is because I used to. I was part of a gaming channel back in 2014, 2015. I think that was the first time where PS4 just came out. It was called the Total Nemesis Gaming Channel. And unfortunately, me and my couple of friends back then, uh, we kind of got into an argument. Uh, in the end, the channel didn't happen, so I kind of went on and did my own thing. So I remember the first career mode that I did was Everton career mode. I remember, yeah, I think it was last year of my high school, and I did it all the way to uh, you know my first year in university, right? And I still, you know. I still post a few videos here and there, but not as consistent as right now because back then I didn't quite have a PS, uh, PS4, PS5, and I didn't have my own PS4 until you know 2018. And when the pandemic started, I thought you know why not just keep doing this, you know, just keep on going. Uh, I think I only have like maybe a hundred, a couple hundred subscribers. And I did my FIFA 23 video. It gotten better and better and better until six months ago when FC 24 came out. I did the Arsenal career mode and boom, everything just kind of took off. I think as of right now, I have 8,000 views on that channel. And a lot of you guys are showing great support to the channel. You know, telling me what to do, this and that. And I'm loving that. I love the engagement. I love that little community that, you know, we all created amongst each other. And that's pretty much what I wanted to do, right? I mean, at the end of the day, I did this as a hobby. But the more I got into it, the more I realized how my my videos might impact all of you guys. You know, you guys might be, you know, from the UK, from, from the States, or you guys might have a lot of stuff going on in your own life. And you just kind of want to tune out a little bit just to watch my video for maybe... You know, I know you. I know you guys probably don't watch the whole thing. <laughs> I, I I know that, but you guys probably just watch the uh, uh, maybe the first few uh, minutes, or even just skip through my uh, my videos. But yeah, I just wanna you know, I just wanna say a big big thank you to you guys. I mean, am I doing a phase review? I'm not gonna do a phase review. I mean, I'm not I'm not that big of a channel yet. But yeah, so uh, season three, it's here. And TP, uh, my friend, you have suggested me quite a lot of good ideas. And am I am I able to do all of that? I'm not sure. But there's one thing I really do agree with that. It's that the team right now is just a lot of players. When you look at the list here, not everybody can make it. I realize that. I think the players who are going to be sold are players who do not have a tag on him. For example, Miguel... Rodriguez, who has been with us since day one, um, has to go, right? I mean, there's no tag anymore. And there are a few players that, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, to sell this and that. But I think right now, as of right now, I'm just going to advance and see what we're going to have. Because right now, there's just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of players, a lot of players have departed, you know, on loan, good for them. Uh, Robe uh, Ribeiro, you see, that's the thing. I mean, I I just have to sell them. It 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 sucks. No matter how you know, I really do want to do some sort of a youth career mode, but the fact that right now is just not the time because <laughs> there's so many players in the team, and by Munich one sign player, two point three million, a hundred k, lower than the valuation. I'm okay with it as long as we have to you know clear a few players here and there. 
I might have to highlight a few players, whether if I want to sell them or not. But when you look at the squad hub here, again, like I said, there's a lot of players. Um, for example, like these players who have attacks, Mendes might not make it. I'm doing this based on the status. If they have an amazing or an exciting prospect or above, then they're likely to stay. But players with, for example, Carlos Mendes, stronger potential, they will be leaving on a permanent basis. I think for the first part here, I'm looking for outgoings at the moment. I got to do some sort of a clear house operation, making sure that we do have enough uh, to sign players. I mean, certainly. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. Um, I haven't checked the finances. 126 million. That's a lot of money, to be honest. And I'm sure we're able to sign a few, maybe three or four uh, top talent players. I think that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. But when you look at the uh, objective, and let's see, what do we have to do? Pretty much our own objective is to, you know, try to get further down into the uh, Champions League. If we win it, you know, then we win it. Uh, but in terms of the league, let's try to repeat it. Let's try to win another one. Let's try to complete a back-to-back -back, uh, game-winning title. And also, let's try to win the Copa del Rey. Uh, we were so close a couple of years ago. And right now, this is the time where we have to use that money to shine. Uh, in terms of the objective, we have to sign four players in your youth academy assigned to each of the following position. I'm sure that is very doable. Keep player salary growth under 15%. I think that's doable. Uh, sign three players born in Europe. That is very doable as well. And in terms of the uh, domestic success, uh, well, top four finish and reach to the semifinal. But of course, for us, we have a much higher standard than that. That has to be personally, we have to we have to win uh, both domestic trophy and the continental success. Like I said, try to reach as far down as much as possible. If we can reach the semifinal and got out. That's fine. As long as, you know, this this year we're going to be able to compete. And right now we got a few, actually a lot of offers coming on right here. So, um, Swetberg received an offer from LAFC out of nowhere as well. I mean, this player looks like he is going to strive somewhere in Europe, but if I have to receive funds from the States, I will certainly do so. Uh, Joaquim Tavares, of course, he made his debut last year. I'm trying to actually just do a loan one year uh, delegation. I think Mayano, I believe I transferred list to him. That's why we got that. To be honest, these players are definitely going. Uh, it's the matter of whether if I can get a good deal for them or not. But based on the valuation, it's only a few hundred K apart. So I'm not going to, um, yeah, I don't think right now I'm going to uh, do anything about it. So I'm going to accept both of these offers for uh, Rodriguez. Hopefully these players are going to be uh, out of the door as soon as possible. There it is. A player is finally going out the door. I think that is Ribeiro. The goalkeeper? I'm not sure. They all look the same to me. And I don't even know who is who. Who, who is who? What I'm talking about. But at least, I don't know. I, I think I'm counting at least 10 players are going out the door. Maybe a little bit more than that. 15 perhaps. Let's try to gather all the cash. And then we can, you know, bump up the transfer budget a little bit higher. So at least we might have a better idea. Uh, who we're going to sign and how they're going to fit in each other position that we're going to ask them to do. But there you go. Uh, yep, turns out it is uh, Ribeiro. 2.3 million euros to buy Munich. Might be a very good development for them. So more players have left right now. Rodriguez, Gomez, Wattberg, and also Mayano. So which also raised the total funds right now and the finances. 142 million, which is around 17 million more which is very good and by the way this is where i'm gonna show you guys where are we i think we're in oh, july 11th and we got a loan agreement coming on for rodriguez for a one-year loan deal which is totally fine by me and yep i'm gonna show you guys what i might be signing and by the way um i have been actually doing this uh tp i've been trying to scout young talents in the, into the group and so far, none of them looks good to me, actually. Except this guy. He looks looks like he's fine. But in terms of free agency, um, not I just need to sign one top, top young talent. That's it. And in terms of the transfer hub, 
Let's see who we have. We have a lot of money right now. And also, I think it is a perfect opportunity for us to actually sign at least one player at the moment. No matter how much I really do want to sign Nico Williams. But, um, well, that's way too expensive. Certainly, I cannot get him. Nor Inaki Williams, who is, what, 31-year-old. But Jeremy Pino is another player that I really do enjoy. Uh, and thought about signing him in a very long-term run. Even I have Sancho's on the list right here. But it's really hard right now. Um, I think signing a right midfielder, it's a must at the moment. Even signing a goalkeeper, it's another must. But it's not something that we have to sign it. Well, we've got Kudos, uh, Kudus, uh, Malin as well. But, ooh, Malin looks like a very good player here. 26-year-old, 84 rated. And actually, I'm going to sort this up just a little bit. Uh, right back. The right back situation, I'm okay with it. But I think right now, it's all about, you know, upping another gear in terms of signing a top, top defender. Uh, Daniel Vivian looks like a very good player to me uh, to fill out that role. And I know that at the moment, I do. His contract is coming to an end by the end of this season. And I do intend to keep him. And uh, yeah, there's a few players that are added to my list here, but Malin looks like certainly a, a baller for me. I don't really have a lot of money to sign any more player, if I'm being honest. But even Guanduzi could be a, a ma uh, an amazing option as a center forward, but Jaden Sancho is another player that I, I'm looking to bring in as well. I mean, why not, right? I mean, the thing is, the best player out there is probably Jeremy Pino. I'm sure he can go up another level, and it's a player that I've been admiring. So why not just uh, try to sign him as our first signing? Forty-five million for Pino, and let's see if Villarreal is okay with it. They want to add Ansel into the deal. Mm, I do not like that deal, even though I said in my last episode that Ansel could be, you know, could be going this summer. Depends on what kind of deals we're coming in for. And let's see if we're going to get anything out of this. Oh, 59.1. That's a lot. The tension is certainly rising. How about I will lower it to 55 million, which is pretty much in between what they're offering and we are offering at the same time. And there you go. 55 million for Jeremy Pino. Right now, it's all about the contract situation here. And I'm quite confident everything could be secure uh, quite comfortably, a five-year deal for him. Current wage is 39k, which is pretty good. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, I believe he deserve a pay increase of 50, uh, 50k a week with the 200k signing bonus, leaving us with 84 million euros to spend. And there you go, Jeremy Pino is our first signing, our new winger, uh, right wide midfielder. I believe he's going to come on and play as the right midfielder i believe so um no matter even though his position right now is a left midfielder but i would still want to convert him into a right midfielder role like i said i feel like the right side should be strengthened a little bit more and the left side certainly needs to be strengthened as well but there you go jeremy pino our first signing of the summer and daniel vivian could be our second signing of today uh, his evaluation right now, we can secure a deal of 30 million, everything will be fine. So, uh, again, I believe he might be arriving to his last year of his contract. Uh, there's no way his valuation is only, what, 30, well, 37.5 million. But, of course, we all know that 30 million could do the deal. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do a 30 million straight Ahead with 54 million to spend. Let's see what does Alvaro Bilbao say. And they loved it. They loved. They would take the cash, 30 million. They could have possibly asked for a much higher fee than that. But Vivian looks like another player coming in. 26 euro, 83 rated. Doesn't really. Not very good on the ball. But def defensive wise, he looks like a very solid player. Again, not on a very high wage. Uh, I think I might do a rotation. He want to be a crucial member. If I can lower it to important, if we can, definitely not. Looks like he might be starting every game. I mean, he's definitely starting ahead of I do, of course, who gave up uh, a crucial penalty to Napoli in the final of the Europa League. Uh, I think that is a very clumsy, clum, uh, clumsy play by him. Ooh, he's willing to take a pay cut, but the, ooh, uh, the bonuses are a little bit ridiculous. Maybe I'm going to up it to 40k a week. 
with 300k signing bonus. And let's see what does he have to say. He knows he wants to move to a champion. It's not quite what they're looking for, but there you go. 40k a week with the 300k signing bonus. And Vivian, Daniel Vivian, it's our second new signing for the summer. Uh, a right midfielder, it's in. A center back is in as well. I think the next signing could be a backup center forward, a young center forward, or perhaps, uh, I don't know, anywhere else. Left back is fine. Right back is fine as well. Winger, we can probably secure another winger. But at the moment, I'm very happy with the business so far. And by the way, I realize since we have a lot of youth players and also I do want to integrate some of them into the squad. So I'm going to pick out maybe four or five players that might be able to play a great role into the team. I think one of them is certainly uh, Augustine Guzman, even though I'm selling Mendes, who has a much higher rating than him. But it feels like Guzman could be uh, half a role to play, uh, whether if it's in the you know rotational uh, Champions League game or even a Copa del Rey competition but I certainly do want to integrate some players into the team left back situation are fine right now uh, Vivian coming on uh, right here doesn't have any tag whatsoever I mean 26 year old you don't expect much from a player like him uh, Costa certainly is leaving the club I don't know why he's still here uh, right back I think Inaki Nunes is another player that I might be looking forward to to use him, uh, 65 rated, an exciting prospect, 18 year old. Uh, it, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happens with my voice. What's going on? Uh, but <clears throat> but there you go, 65 rated. Certainly. Well, I'm gonna come back, and drink some water. Just give me one second. All right, I'm back. And yeah, so uh, three players, the contract coming to an end uh, this season. I think the center, defensive midfielder area. I think I'm okay with sticking with these two at the moment. And Santos, transfer listed, and Cornet. I actually want to put him on a transfer list. Servi, it's going to be on the transfer list as well, which means we might have to look for a um, another left midfielder with left-footed. Jeremy Pino coming on right here. Uh, ha doesn't have any tag on him. I'm, I'm a little bit worried that his potential is coming to an end, but can we somehow switch him to a right midfielder? Where's the role? Oh, 19 weeks. Okay, I think that's certainly fine. And any more? Any more players? Um, Ponce, again, he's going to start every game for me. I think one of these top, uh, Tavares is going to, you know, it's going to help. Um, well, it really depends who's staying or not. And Araz looks like a player who might be leaving, if I'm being honest. Bamba could be, um, I don't know. I love Bamba. But if I have to pick one player to go, probably Arez, even though it doesn't make sense. 23-year-old, 76 rated. He could be on his way. Uh, potential to be special. Barbosa, I think this guy might be saying. Looks like he is a very, very good young talent. But right now, I've been converting him to left midfielder role. Actually, you know what? If that's the case, then I don't think I need to sign another left midfielder. I think Barbosa can do a great job. Uh, center four, I might keep one player at the moment might be Perez Oscar Perez or even I think that's it yeah four players right that four players at the moment um and yeah I'm gonna keep four young players into the team hopefully I'll be able to uh you know uh, you know um what's that word put them into the first team if I can more movements are coming on uh, Rodriguez Mendez, Tavares, and also Miranda has been sold or either loaned out. But we got two loan offers or two offers coming in. Inaki, Nunez. Um, well, that's the thing. I don't think I will be trying to sell this guy. I mean, like I said, he looks like a proper lad. He looks like a player that I might be using. But Santos is another player is going to be leaving. Even though 16 euro, 61 rated. It's good, but right now he's so far down in the packing order. This is going to be a very juicy transfer because, well, first of all, let me figure out this player first. Delegation to a one, uh, one year loan, and ooh, Surfy might be going to the other side. Okay, oh my god, I, honestly, I should have probably put him onto a uh, an exchange, but it's fine. But this one is a big one. Ooh, do I? I certainly do not want to sell it to Corona. Uh, I don't want to sell it to a fella um, Spanish club. 
But the thing is, Sanchez has been great for us, right? But do I really want to sell him? You know what? I'm going to hold it off. I still love Sanchez as a player at the moment. But, I mean, I don't really see him going. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be... This is a show right here. So, Hado, Hado's not leaving. I, like, I'm telling you guys, Hado's not leaving. He is going to be the the, the core, the future of the defense. Mazwari, um, I thought he did fine, but... Again, he was not my first choice when I signed him. It was actually my second choice. Uh, my first choice was actually Poro. Oh my god, Cornette got an offer for him. Uh, actually, I'm going to accept both of these offer. I don't think he has a future for us. Callagher, this is a big, big one. Um, again, 26 euros, 79 rated. Certainly helped us a lot in both domestic and Europe. But I feel like we can also up a level a little bit. Arez got an offer from Sevilla. I think I might be able to squeeze a few more million. So does the other three deals. Let's try to see what we can get here. I believe 11 million would do right here. I think we're going to get a lot of money coming in very soon. Arez looks like going to Sevilla at the moment. Maswari, I mean, the best I can do is 58 million. Let's see what this Chelsea have to say. I'm going to negotiate a little bit with them, um, even though it's above the valuation, but I believe I can squeeze a little bit more, maybe 57 million. Again, uh, I don't really have a number in my mind. It's just whether if I can strike a good deal, 57 million, wow. Oh my God, I just realized it's Chelsea. I can possibly put on a much higher, much higher bit than that, but, mm, and Cal heard this one. Let's see, um, 24.5 million euros. If those players are able to leave that easily right here, that would be amazing. Because I think after those the sales of those players, it will raise to, oh my god, 24 million. That's not bad. Let's try to do um, 28 million this time. And there you go. Cal Hurt, it's out of the way as well. Wow, I'm totally transforming this team right now well even though i'm doing all the signings and stuff like that in terms of how they're going to play together i'm not quite sure yet okay so survey is sold for 10.5 million and we just accepted the uh the, the european friendly i mean i'm sure a lot of people don't care but masrari it's gone as well and i'm sure those three deals that definitely have gone through and I'll be very, very excited to see what we can do with that money. Certainly, we have to reinvest in some of the position. I feel like Masrari has been has been good for us. But again, like I said, he was never the first choice. And we were able to sell him for $57 million. Honestly, I should have probably raised it a little bit higher. Maybe to 60, 60, 61. You see, possible deal could be $62.5 million. And let's see, any more players have gone. Masrari, Cornet, the deal didn't go through, I assume. Um, well, I don't want to assume anything right now at the moment, but this is where fun's going to happen. Uh, Pedro Poro, uh, like I said, I really do want to sign this player. But let's see what we can get, maybe 50 million. Hopefully we're going to get something out of him. Oh, 50 million might not be enough, but we'll see 77.6 million. Oh, oh boy, that's a lot of money. But can we go down to maybe... I, I believe he is a very good player. But this one is tit for tat right now. 60, 65 point. Okay, I think I can lower it to 61.5 million. Could be the last draw for Ange. And 63. Um, maybe I can squeeze it to 62. 62 <laughs> even though it doesn't make a big big difference but come on sell him okay all right so pretty much we pay five more million euros for Pedro Poro which like I said another player that I do admire in real life as well all down to uh, contract situation but his current wage it's 115k that's a lot five-year deal for him a player entering in, into his prime Certainly a play. Oh, he's taking massive pay cut. You know what? I will remove the bonus. Lower. 
to 550k signing bonus and up it a little bit to 70k. I'm sure he might not like that, but we will see. Tension bar is still relatively low. Uh, it's not bad, to be honest. I, I think we're still able to squeeze a few more out of it. Well, they're not backing down. Uh, but to be honest, he took a massive pay cut just to want to join us again. He wanted to become part of the history, part of the culture. But there you go. Pedro Paro will be our third signing of today a very exciting right back that i'm so excited to be using very soon there you go more outgoing callaher it's gone arrest is gone Cornet is gone and our young player has been loaned out but this time oh, john mcginn for <clears throat> brian gill definitely no mate i can't do that but i think it's time to look at the uh not squad up the finance that's a bunch of play being sold. 105 million. Perfect. We gotta make more signings right now. I think the next one could be Unai Simone. Um, I think he made tons of mistakes every time when I play against him, but no doubt he is certainly the future number one for Spain. After uh shoot, who, who's playing who's playing as a goalkeeper right now? I think it was Unai Simone. But transfer offer, maybe. I'm going to do a 45 million. Honestly, I should have looked at the information before I try to sign anybody. 45 million for... Oh. Okay. Um, tension, it's high. Maybe I can lower it to 50, 55 million. I think he is the player entering into his prime as well. And there you go. 55 million for him. Please, fourth signing. We we're making local signings only, you know, dragging players or bringing players from rivalry, which is, you know, something that you would love to see. He's going to be a crucial member, 100%. No doubt, he's definitely a big step up for Calher. Calher, for the past few years or for the past few games, I thought he'd done very, very well. Even though we he got big criticism in terms of his near post uh, save at times. But... And overall, Calher did save us in a lot of situations. But, oh my god, Unai Simone. Holy crap, this guy, his wage is certainly way lower than I thought it would be. 40k and that 500, well, 40, 4,000, is it 4,000? 4, no, $40,500 for him. And another signing, fourth signing. Is it fourth signing? Let's look at the new players who came in. So, Unai Simone, uh, 30. Well, 86 overall, 28 euro. Looking, looking very good with that jersey over there. Um, where else? Mm, center back. Well, we checked that already. Uh, Daniel Vivian. And uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else do we have? I'm going to change the number very soon. Pedro Porbury, num number three. A perfect fit for him. Holy crap. What a signing for us. Uh, there's one more. Yaomi Pino. Okay, I think right now we still have 50-something million or 40-something million to spare. We might make one more signing right here, but at the moment, I'm still not sure who we should sign. This is how the team's going to look like ahead of the new season as of right now. Simone and go back for we got Sanchez, Hado, Vivian, uh, Poro, and admitted we still have Gil. I wish his rating go up a little bit. I think he needs that. Uh, Ponce, Beltran. Jeremy Pino on the right side. And up front, we still have Silva and Gruda in terms of Larson. Again, if we don't receive an offer for him, then he will be staying. But if we do, I'm going to make sure he's going to leave um, with a very high fee. So the thing is right now is that we have three friendly games coming up. I do not, I usually don't really show you guys about that. But instead, I will show you guys a full uh, result or full summary of what happened in the European Shield. So we've got three things over here. But first of all, Nunes, who have been received a lot of offers. Turns out he's a left-footed player. And I'm trying to convert him into a left-back instead. And turns out it looks like a proper player to me. So we're with three left-back, which is which is good enough if I'm being totally honest. And we got an offer coming here for Silva from Wolfsburg. Holy crap. I mean, this guy's so clutch. I'm not looking to, looking to sell him. Same as Inaki Nunes. These players are going to be, you know, the project for the next couple of years. August 1st, and the first game of La Liga is around the corner. And I think right now it is also a great, great time. Oh, this is a player, Fabian Vidal. 
I'm sure I did talk about him in the last one. Uh, Madonoda. Looks like another. Oh my god. I realize there's so many players in here that I haven't quite used yet. Uh, uh, Sierra. Gil. Gonna stay there. Another Fidel. Oh, Montez. Ortiz. Montero. Again, they, they look like proper players to me. But right now, in terms of the Youth Academy report, it's full at the moment. And I need to check out why. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see in terms of the squad report again. Oh, man, this looks like a player. You know what? Ah, It's a very tough one. If he's not asking for a pro deal, I'm not going to call him up. I'm just going to wait. But a few players are heading out the door, actually, unfortunately. And let's see. Oh, Modenado, 54 rated only. He looks like a proper player to me just now. Any more players? Oh, my God. Bernardo Machado, a great, great player based on what I'm seeing here. He might be getting called up very soon, um, but as of right now, these are the players that I'm going to keep it. Uh, even Cortez looks like a proper player. That's the thing. I mean, we have $47 million to spend. I don't know where else we can spend right now. Um, I mean, we have a lot of you players coming up the rank very soon. So I'm summarizing the European Shield. So we drew against Hoffenheim, lost to Manchester United. Then we beat uh, uh, Ferdinand Bremen, I believe so. So nothing special. And I don't expect us to win anything. But we're going to make one more uh, signing before we end this episode. Again, I think this is more of an introductory one. So uh, Gwendozi has gone. Mm, no matter how much we really do want to sign him, unfortunately, it looks like it's not quite meant to be. But there's one player I'm looking to bring in, Kent Nielsen. Uh, Denmark, uh, TP, I'm doing you a favor. Actually, I did scout a very a young, exciting player, and he's one of them playing for Corona. Uh, we can secure a deal around $10.6 I might add a few. I might add a player in or two. So this is actually perfect. So Jesus uh, Angulo uh, hasn't been playing a lot of games for us again. Uh, it's just part of, you know, just part of football. I signed him through free agency deal. And honestly, I thought he was fine every time he comes on. Oh, remove exchange player. Actually, my bad. Let's do... Let's put him back in. Uh, where is he? Oh, shoot. I think I just messed up the deal. Have I messed up the deal? I think I did. Maybe full back, perhaps. Uh, none of them. Maybe a midfielder, perhaps. No, I think I messed up the deal. Okay, let's remove the sell on clause. Add the player again if I can. No, he's no longer the deal. Damn it. I think I just made a big, big mistake here. Uh, I'm going to just offer 10 million cash. I think I can definitely sell Angulo with a higher price than that. But let's see. 11.7 million for young player. I don't mind, to be honest. But how about let's try to do 11 million. Why not? Halfway. And there you go. Uh, another play coming in fifth signing of the season, perhaps. So Nielsen uh, from Denmark, actually from Corona as well. Massive pay cut with a very generous signing bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and sign him. There you go, fifth signing, and it's Nielsen. Uh, he is gonna provide a healthy competition between himself and Hado uh, and Gulo. At the moment, looks like he's going to be out of the door very soon. But I'm very happy with this signing. And there you go, Nielsen's showing great potential, 75 rated, 18 year old, which is a perfect age for me uh, to play for this team. So I'm going to add uh, Angulo into the transfer hub. I'm sure we're going to get something out of him. But right now, as the first game of the season is around the corner, Guzman uh, loan deal is accepted. So we're going to accept the deal as well. And Valencia apparently is the first game. Of the season, oh, told you guys, Angulo, 11 million, you know what, that's perfect. And, uh, oh my god, Andre Silva, Andre Silva is staying, for sure. For me, at least one more season from him. He has been really, really clutch every time he played for us. And Angulo, another offer, interest in Capo, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, doesn't matter. Uh, Angulo, it's going to be, yeah, I'm, I'm going to send him to uh, Flacco Bilbao. Apparently, we have a very good relationship with them. Uh, we've been selling a lot of players to them, and they have been selling a lot of, you know, players to us as well. And, all right, so right now, we have $42 million to spend. 
and um, I hope you guys are going to show me or tell me who you guys want me to bring in with that money. I I, I don't know how much they're going to be. And we still have around two to three weeks before the end of the summer transfer window. And that $42 million is really down to you guys to... Um, you know, to help me to make a signing. If I haven't heard anything from you guys, then I would just pretty much free flowing uh, towards the end there. But I actually do want to update the team management to see uh, to see how we look like overall. So Gruda will be pretty much the um, uh, the uh, well the center forward for this season again. Aspas is gone, retiring, uh, retire, same as Guayita, Simone coming on right here, all oh, beautiful. Any more players that deserve to, to get into the team right now? So I do, oh, actually before I go, I think I might need to extend three players. I do, and uh, I do Bamba, and also Beltran, the captain. I certainly do not want to lose them on a free transfer. But that is it, right? I mean, anything, uh, Barbosa actually going to come on here. Actually, no, I'm going to just keep it like that. Uh, we might sign another Y midfielder at the moment. Looks really, really thin in that area. And this is pretty much the starting lineup. Or, yeah, the starting lineup for the first game of the season. But we got to go to the squad hub and do the main business here. Beltran, again, I'm very happy with all these three players. But if we're able to protect the value, which is good, because if I'm able... A pay increase to 50k a week and also a signing bonus of 100k. And Beltran is tying down for another four year deal. Jonathan Bamba was on 24k a week and right now his, uh, his wage has increased to 40k a week with a 100 signing bonus, 100k signing bonus. Uh, even though uh, he actually wanted a release clause, I should have probably take that. It was like 42 million euros. I think regardless, it's going to be a win-win situation for us. No player being tied down right now. Last player is Joseph Aidu. Same situation as the last few players. Wage definitely increased by a little bit with the signing bonus of 100k. And this time I do insert a uh, release clause on I do again 55 million I believe so so regardless if he is you know somebody want to sign him he has to you know sign him for 55 million which is again it's a win for us but that is it for the transfer business as of right now and we're heading to the first game of the season I believe so yeah it is going to be let's see which teams have been promoted um Filicano Granada Granada is one of them um, Alaves and also Girona. Giro was Girona part of it? I don't think they were. It doesn't matter. But first game of the season is right here around the corner against Valencia. I'm very excited for this game. I think it's time for us to, uh, you know, to to defend. You know, uh, as a defending champion, certainly the team is still it's better, but still very thin at the moment. 47, 42 million to spend right now. I actually 39 after the contract extension. But if you guys want me to sign certain players, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section because usually I record this video, I don't know, a few hours, maybe a few days before. But of course, as you guys are listening to me right now, I'm actually recording on the same day. And yeah, that is it for today's episode. I'm not sure if I, uh, I'm not sure if I will actually do an episode tomorrow. I have a job interview. Um, I think for the upcoming few weeks, I might be a little bit busy, so the uploading schedule might be a little bit inconsistent. But it is what it is. I mean, I mean, again, like I said, this uh, this channel is not my livelihood. This channel is only my hobby. But if I can turn this into a, a fun side hustle, I will certainly do that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in a bit.